use a key card to get in. This is a view of the Glacier International Lodge where you can stay if you visit the National Park which is Glacier National Park. And here's what you get in this highly rated hotel, lodge, inn, whatever you want to call it. It has a rustic feel. The wooden panelings go to the bathroom. They warn you not to flush anything down the toilet that could be rough to break down. There's a shower. It's an open shower. And just keep in mind, they're not going to clean the rooms every day unless you request it. But you have to let them know a day in advance. Here are the closets. There has an iron. Has 10 hangers. So if you take one, you'll know that they'll know that you have it. Extra linen in case you need it. You get a little cold that night. It's our garbage. Here you have full length mirror. That's your bed. It's about a, I'm not gonna say a, a king size bed, maybe a queen size bed. Some artwork on the wall of the sites out in nature, the glaciers. My workstation. I have about a 50 inch screen TV. And it does have smart TV capabilities. On the carpet, very clean, very soft. And yes, you do have outlets. You have one there. You have one attached to the lamp. You have another lamp here. And it has an outlet behind there. And there's another outlet here on the lamp on this side and an outlet there. If you go to the work area, you have an outlet here. And it also has room for you to charge USB ports, USB devices. Inside here, hidden away, you'll see there's a microwave. That's the size of it. In case you want to bring something back, warm something up. Nearby they have Chick-fil-A. They have a lot of local things. A lot of the local things take a long time to prepare, so just know that. You might want to get there earlier. A lot of places don't take to-go orders because it is a smaller town. Here's a refrigerator. Small refrigerator, you can bring some things back. Maybe some Rainier cherries from Washington. Not so far away. Here you have drawers, three to be exact. Okay. And here's how the light looks when it's illuminated. Still has that brown orange glow to it. The thermostat right here, which you can control yourself. Most likely we come in the summer. It's gonna be anywhere between 70 and 76, because you don't wanna freeze when you're coming back from the swimming pool, which they do have one, or when you get out of the shower. The curtains can be drawn closed, drawn open with this stick over here. All right. The smaller ones, in case you want a little bit of privacy, but you don't want so much sunlight. And the windows, they'll open, but just up to here. So you're not going to have anybody attempting to jump off on their watch. So it's going to stop right here if you try to open it. I have two latches here. And then you can slide it, but just up to that point. In case you want some fresh air or just to hear the, some of the trucks pass by or the airport. Because, ladies and gentlemen, to drive from the airport to the Glacier International Lodge is about three minutes. You could walk it. You could get here sooner. You just cut through the glass where you see that truck passing. And about three times a day, you're going to see an airplane land. You're going to see an airplane take off. You also have private jets landing to the right of here. 
and most of the cars that you're going to that you see over there in the lot i don't know if you can see them from here right by the airport which is just a little strip a lot of those cars are rental cars so those are not from people working there or from uh, visitors no those are rental cars so that's something about montana that you don't know about being in this area there's not a lot of people and that's a good thing because if you come from a place with a lot of people you might need an escape from a lot of people whether it's mumbai whether it's paris it's a good place to come and experience america in a way that you might not be able to if you are on the east or even the southern part of the country as you see they have a lot of harley davidson's down there on the other side of this hotel you also have harley davidson's a lot of people just like to ride the mountain. A lot of people like to ride the winding roads. You'll see a lot of bikers in this area. They have a strong biking community. I'm sure there's more than one MC around here, Motorcycle Club. And down there, you'll see a shuttle that says Glacier International Lodge. And what that Sprint van is doing there is it gives people a ride from, gives people a ride from the airport to the hotel. He is a man and his family. I like to see a lot of people here with their families. Look at how polite and orderly everyone is being and respectful. They just came from breakfast. I just saw them at breakfast downstairs. They do serve breakfast here from, I believe, 6 a.m. to about 11 a.m. So if you're worried about finding something to eat before you spent the day at Glacier International Park or just out shooting, just know that if six o'clock is early enough for you, they'll be serving breakfast. And by breakfast, I mean you'll have coffee, you have eggs, you have bacon, you have yogurt, you have limited amount of fruit, you have all the water you can drink, you have cranberry juice, apple juice, orange juice, or just water, which tastes a lot different. The water here in the glaciers in Kalispell, Montana, tastes a lot different than any other water that I've tasted. It tastes like melted ice. That's the best way I can describe it. I wasn't joking when I said that. There's some beautiful flowers down here in the property. Probably one of the best looking properties you're going to stay in if you go to Montana. Uh, and if in the region, in the, far off into the distance, not only will you see the mountains, but you'll see the smoke. And that smoke has been burning, that's been, it's been visible, limiting our visibility since we've been here because there's been a lot of fires. Some people say from Canada, some from the area, but it's just something always burning. Here's a private jet right there, if you look closely, making its way down the runway. But a lot of... Um, a lot of signs saying that don't start fires because they spread. And these fires have been burning and they limit people's access to roads. It limits people's access to the national parks. Uh, what else can I say about Montana? People obey the speed limit for the most part. If they go over the speed limit, maybe it's five miles over. You always see two or three car lengths between you and the car in front of you. And the car behind you, no one is really rushing you to get anywhere to get off the road or to go faster. And if they do, they just pass you and they continue. And even when they pass you, they get back on the right-hand side of traffic and let other cars pass them. For the most part, the speed limit is between 55 and 70. It keeps changing, but it's a good drive. I think you will enjoy driving in Montana compared to New York. And Philadelphia is not that congested, not congested at all. Some roads you won't see anyone for about 10 minutes, and that's a good thing. But I'd like to experience this place in the winter to make up my mind whether it's a place where you can live uh, with, uh, with the winter the way it is. With the snow, with the ice, with your vehicle. That's the part I don't know yet. But it might be something that we have to discover together. And, oh, another thing about this property. You're going to notice that uh, a lot of the cars 
uh, have a ticket on them and that ticket you get from the hotel itself so you just can't come here and park they want to know who you are they want to know if your car is a rental or not so you have to leave that paper on the dashboard for the extent of time that you stay here and right in front of me you see the american flag in the middle you see the canadian flag to the left we're just an hour and a half away from canada alberta canada is not that far from here and the montana flag you see to the right it's a blue one right now the wind is not blowing it so it's not outstretched there's some more people probably heading to the glaciers it's holding a map the man is in front of having a has a camo gear on i can still see him what the now the montana flag is a beautiful flag it's a blue flag it has a spanish saying that says means gold and silver oro y plata so if you have a chance here's a private jet you can see it it's about to take off going fast i love to see planes taking off there it is prepare for flight there it went and Montana is one of the states with the highest median income. I believe it's $58,000. As was pointed out to me, a lot of local small businesses over here. So if you're relying on Uber Eats or Lyft or things like that, you might be waiting for a long time. Also keep in mind, in Kalispell, if you order something from Amazon, even if you have Prime, you might order it on a Monday, but it might come the following Monday. So it's not instantaneous as it is in a place with a lot more people with a lot more connections. Also keep in mind that sometimes you'll go to areas or these national parks and you will have no cell service at all. So you might want to print some maps as well as pre-program some destinations before you get there, just so you won't be caught out there. But if you run into any trouble, just try to find a ranger station Try to get near a place that um, closer to town that might have cell service. And that's it. Also, know if you're coming here, you can bring your firearm. You just have to check it. If you come from a place that has reciprocity when it comes to firearm, also keep in mind that you can't bring bear spray on the plane. So you're going to have to buy it when you come here, which will run you anywhere from 30 to $40. Sometimes even more, depending on the where you stay. Over here at the Glacier International Hotel, you have to buy. If you buy one here, it's going to cost you about fifty dollars a bottle. And just know that you can't take it back with you unless you're driving wherever you are on the plane. You can't take it on the plane, so you're going to have to leave it here or gift it to someone who's just getting here. All right, we're signing off.